back out in what I like to call the magic forest today from one of my previous videos, char cloth and pine needle tea. There's no Joel today, just me and Toby. Everything's wet. It's a really wet day today. As you can probably tell from trying to get the fire going. All the smoke. Hopefully this, up, this picks up its proper temperature in a moment so I can start burning through some bigger pieces. On today's video, we're just out in the forest, we're just going to be relaxing today. I'm going to be cooking up some chicken stew or chicken broth, whatever you like to call it, over my tripod which I used in my first video and if I get enough time I'm going to try and dig up some pine roots and make some natural cordage and show you guys how that's done Broth's cooking up nice now. I'm going to take it off. I'm just add some lentils into there just to thicken it up. Okay, so the broth's cooking up nice now. I think while that's simmering, we're going to try and see if we can source up some pine roots, some natural cordage. So, what we're going to do, guys, is just first Let's see one already. What happens is when you dig down, you'll start to see them just. Poking through, and as you can see here, we've 
already found one. So what I'm going to do is follow that route. As you can see, I haven't really dug too deep at all. So we're just going to follow this one. ripped not too bad I still use this though no problem there's another one wow okay so that's a nice one there scoot through the soil and you'll see them, they'll pop up and all you want to do then is, well what I do anyway, everyone has a different way of doing it I'll just dig to the left and the right of the root until it unveils itself and just pull it out so I just found a piece of punky dead wood sticking out of the ground and sawed a little slit into the top yeah don't get me wrong, with these roots you can tie these and stuff like that but it's always going to be better to process them up so what I do is just stick it in there and pull it through. And what happens is do this right I <laughs> think I might have slit the hole a little bit too big but you get the gist it should work a lot better than a fresh piece of wood but you can sort of get the gist now when I was bending that just it felt like it wanted to snap but now I've pulled it through there and gave it a good tug get all the little bits off the end it's now a lot more flexible oh you could tie knots with this anything you wanted to do if I'm totally honest with you I don't think the cordage example worked that well everything around me is just wet I can't find like a, a dry piece of wood to show you a good example I mean all of the floor around me is just moss it's soft I'm trying to bury a piece of wood into the ground to show you how to pull it through properly but I can't find anything that's dry so I hope that the little example I did set you guys was enough to show you the basics of how to get roots up out the ground cordages from pine trees etc are you know natural alternatives to paracord to be honest I've had them in the past I've tied up shelters with uh, natural cordage they are amazing if you process them right they are pliable and you can do so much with them but again I am sorry that I couldn't show you a proper tutorial today I will make sure that that is at the top of my list though so I'll wait for some better weather and get out and show you a good video on how to do it properly just waiting for the chicken broth to cook now I'm going to take off the chicken broth now I think it's done. I'll just relax for the remaining time that I'm out here. Ooh, ha. Guys, I want to be totally honest with you. I think, well, I feel a little bit defeated to be honest. Came out this morning, set myself a task on what the video needed to be. 
And don't get me wrong, I did half of it, what I planned to do. But the other half, I couldn't get done. The hiking here killed me off, I was knackered now, I'm making excuses up, but it was cold and it's wet. And I think focusing a lot on trying to stay dry and getting a fire going took priority today, to be honest, and getting a good meal on. But again, I will 100% make sure that in one of my next videos, or one of my videos coming up soon, I will make some more cordage and I'll do it the proper way. Yeah, I'd be a liar to say that everything went smoothly out here. So, I thought that I'd put this in, you know, to just show you guys that you do get defeated out in the forest as well, you know, it's not all swings and roundabouts. Sometimes you can't get fire started. Sometimes you can't, you know, find a place to sleep. Sometimes you can't stay dry. That's just the way it is. But I'm happy that I got out here today. I had a chance to get out here. And I'm happy that I've got a nice warm meal cooked. So, for me, I'm winning. Chicken broth for the win. That's probably one of the nicest broths I've done. Joe, if you're watching this, I think that's close to the banging bushcraft beef broth that we did back at base camp in the summer. Man, that is nice. Again, I'm sorry this weekend there haven't really been massive videos, you know. They haven't really been as in depth as I wanted them to be, but I got out and tried my best, and that's all I can do to be honest. Finish off my chicken broth. And I think because I've got to edit this video tonight. I think I'm gonna pack up and just hike out with Toby. Get editing. Cheers guys. Peace.